Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV, and I'm here with Danny Jensen. How you doing today? Pretty well. How about yourself? Doing good, doing good. So you want to tell us a little about yourself with the Bad Dragons? Sure. Um, I'm definitely grateful to be here at the Spotlight booth with all these gorgeous ladies. Um, I got in the business about 10 years ago. I have never done anything I don't want to do, so I have thoroughly enjoyed myself every year of these 10 years. And I'm just so grateful to come here and be able to um, chit chat and catch up with friends, fans, and um, seeing those familiar faces, it just really, it makes me so um, proud to have such loyal fans. And if it wasn't for the fans, I wouldn't be here. Cool, now what made you want to get into the adult industry? That's um, a pretty average story. I was a dancer at a club. I started out as a waitress, upgraded to dancer, took photos for Showgirl of the Month. Photographer asked if I wanted to have my photos sent out for solo work in the industry. Solo turned into girl girl, which turned into boy girl, which turned into here we are today. <laughs> Just escalated, right? Yeah. So tell us a little about your films. Yeah, well, um, I don't watch my own work but I do thoroughly enjoy filming it. So I hope that you guys enjoy watching as much as I enjoy filming it. And um, yeah, I mean, it's not a forever thing. I'll probably retire in a few years, but as of now, I'm just milking it for all that it's worth um, as, as far as like just enjoying myself. Cool. So you've never watched any of your videos? Or? I mean, I have, which is why I know that I don't like to watch them. <laughs> you like watching porn in general, though? Um, it has to be, like, I have to be really in the mood. And then it's, like, Gang Bang or DP, like, something that's a little more naughty. <laughs> I was going to ask, what kind of stuff are you into? Well, um, I really love open relationships and polyamory and just being open-minded to the thought of, of being able to like love more than one person or have sex with more than just one person. Um, but of course, while being completely ethical about it as well and honest, um, and that's first and foremost, like the two major keys of, of open relationships is being honest so that everything is consensual between all parties. That's important, the honesty. Yeah, a lot of people don't have that, so that's cool. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of people just aren't honest with themselves. You know, they get married thinking like, all right, I'm going to have this one penis or vagina for the rest of my life, and I'm going to be okay with that. But no, like, you're, they're not because most people end up cheating. They lie to themselves. In turn, they lie to their partners, and then they cheat, and then there's, like, divorce and alimony and child support and custody battles, and it's like, that shit can be avoided if people were just more open-minded and, and thinking like, okay, maybe monogamy really isn't for me. It's such an archaic idea that, you know, religion, media, society tells us you're supposed to be with one person, find one person, fall in love with them, get married, and be with only them for the rest of your life. And, and I'm thinking, and I feel like nowadays, like polyamory and open relationships are kind of starting to catch on more and more um, and become slightly more socially acceptable so all I can hope is that that progress continues now for people who are interested in pursuing that how did you start communicating like opening up about wanting to be open and stuff yeah well um, uh, when, in my early 20s I had a boyfriend who uh, had, had like a swinging relationship with a, a older woman and so he introduced me to lifestyle lounge which is like a swinging swingers website or like open relationships and whatnot. And um, it, it kind of flourished from there. And being in the industry really made me a lot more open-minded than I ever was before and realized that I liked a lot of things that I didn't know that I liked sexually. And, um, you know, it, it only gets kinkier and kinkier as you get older. So it's almost like being part of um, like a secret sexual society, you know? Cool, awesome. Well, now if people want to find you online, look you up, how do they do that? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter, X Danny X Jensen X. Um, I also have my OnlyFans linked to my Twitter, so those are the two major platforms. For all of you asking, I do not have an Instagram. I'm sorry, my first one got flagged. 
my second one got hacked and after like building thousands and thousands of followers and just having them deleted twice I was just like no more sorry guys the Instagram profile for Danny Jensen it's fake sorry yeah Twitter seems like the way to go it is it's good talking and having you everyone look her up look me up the pleasure is all mine thank you so much cool.